Hello YouTube and welcome to the first video on my channel and to the first episode of the FIFA 21 Ultimate Team 9 to 5 Road to Glory. I'm Klaus Marsilia and the main objective of this series is to follow my progress and show you how you can build a competitive Ultimate Team while having to work a 9 to 5 job like I have to do and while having a wife and a daughter they require a lot of attention. As you can hear from my accent, I'm Italian, that's why you saw me pick the Italian starter pack. The first thing you have to do is usually pick your lone player and I chose Aubameyang because it's the best attacker. Then I chose the Brazil kit because I was able to sell it for a good amount of coins. Same thing with the away kit, I chose the Bayern away kit. Between all the badges I decided to pick the Valencia badge. I have some packs to open because I'm a returning player since I'm a foot founder and I play since the very first ultimate team. Not a lot of good things in these packs except Bellarabi who I was able to sell for about 5000 coins. I decided to sell everything out of these packs just to build some coins to then open bronze packs and try to build a Serie A team like I always do. Here you see Boato coming out of that pack that also contained Jones, a good shout for that week marquee matchup they required a Manchester United player. Bergwies from this next pack and nothing else. In this pack you can see Bellarabi that basically sold for about 5k. Nothing worth the mentions in this last pack with Gonzalez and Guardado, the highest rated. After a lot of trading and bronze back meta on the web and the mobile app i was able to go from this scrap team mixed serie a and serie b to this nice almost full gold rare team Perrin in gold bought for 750 coins caceres 700 coins romagnoli 5400 coins that was a lot mojica 1800 Politano 1400, Kessi 850, Piotr Zielinski for 700, a bargain, Perisic for 1000, Frank Ribery for 1200, Rebic for 4000, and Osimen for 3000 coins. It's now time for the very first squad battle games against Andanovic, Sergio Ramos, Tejes, Lozano, and a very decent team but with very low chemistry. Zielinski crosses it, Andanovic pushes it out, then Ribery tries to get to the ball, but he can't. There's a lot of like mess and confusion until Kessi gets the ball, gives it to Zielinski. Zielinski for Perisic, Perisic feeds Ribery and makes it 1-0. Then the AI tries to come back. Abumayang on the left side tries to cross it, Mojica heads it out and then Kessi gives it to Zielinski. Zielinski up the field for Ribery, Ribery feeds Osimen. Osimen is too fast, nobody can catch him, but then he forgets to shoot, he gets blocked by Sergio Ramos. Rebollo tries to clear it but Osimen gets the ball and then Zielinski with his 5 star weak foot makes it 2-0. Third goal starts all the way from the back, Caceres gives it to Kessi, Kessi to Politano, Politano is alone, there's nobody can catch him, nobody can stop him, he shoots, Andanovic saves it, then Politano tries to get it again, but Andanovic trips him, and this is the very first penalty, and it's a weird penalty. Kessi on the spot, he's probably the best penalty kicker in my team and in real life as well. Let's see if the AI cheats and I think it does because Erko Kiaio gets saved by Andanovic like pretty easily. I'm super convinced the AI knows where I'm gonna shoot. Now we're going super fast because we are getting the ball back pretty soon. Mojica gives it to Politano, Politano again for Zielinski, Zielinski is gonna give it to Ribery, Ribery for Perisic, Perisic gives it back to Ribery then makes it 3-0 and again a good goal coming all the way from the back of our half. The AI now comes back, it's the second half, now Lozano crosses it and it's clearly offside, I don't know who codes the rules in this FIFA 21 but that should be offside, that would not count in real life. 
we are able to score our fourth goal. Again, there's another penalty. Handballs are back. Simiskas tried to block Kessie's shot, but you will see from the replay that the ball hits Tominskas on the leg and then it rebounds on his hand. Then we'll see the second replay. I'm pretty sure you can see it even more clearly in this second replay. Yes, yes, it hits the hand like clearly. Kessie again from the undici metri. Now and we're not trying our cucchiaio anymore because the AI cheats. So we're going bottom left corner and this is a perfect penalty by Frank that makes it 4-1 for us. Rebic, Rebic, Rebic keeps running and then cheesy pass to OC man. And it's 5-1 at the 72nd minutes. Valero gives it to Alan, he gives it back to Alan. Alan is against Andanovic that forgets how to be a goalie and then Alan makes it 5-2 at the 87. You think that the game is over, but nope, it's not because Casares gives it to Kessi. Kessi for Zielinski. Zielinski gives it Politano that sends Rebic on the on the right side. He crosses and headers are back in FIFA 21, finally. After a whole year of FIFA 20, when headers were basically useless, that was also the last play of the game, which ends 6 2 with 9.7 for Osiman, that scores two goals, two goals for Ribery as well, one assist for Osiman, two for Rebic, two for Perisic. Again, a little bit over 1000 coins then to coin boost and the most important thing 1800 squad battle points that gives me bronze one we completed four objectives after just one game which is going to give us two silver packs and a club anthem pack which basically they're not going to contain anything special they're also untradeable so i cannot sell anything out of those silver packs the first episode of the 9 to 5 rtg ends here I know it's a short one and only had one game, but you will see plenty of action in the next episode and you will also see some good pack pulls. If you enjoyed the video and want to see how my journey continues, just leave a like and a comment in the section below. If you also want to subscribe to the channel, that would be very much appreciated. I will see you in a couple of days. Ciao ciao!